slides. Great. So we're building the world's fastest growing weather station network. We launched earlier this year and we already have 9,000 members in our Discord server. We have more than 5,000 station sales uh, in 66 countries. And um, this is the weather forecast for this week uh, from five different meteorological models. You can think of it as five different mobile apps. And the blue line is one of our weather stations here in Lisbon, what it has recorded. So as you can see, the first day, more or less, the forecast uh, aligns the, the, what happened in reality. But the second day, uh, most of the forecasts were wrong. So that's, that's a small problem for individuals, but it's a huge one for the agriculture industry, the energy supply chain industry. In fact, one third of the worldwide economy is weather sensitive. That's why governments spend billions monitoring and forecasting the weather, but uh, it's not a solved problem. Uh, it's not easy to be solved. So inspired by Filecoin and Helium, we're trying a different approach. We're building an economic system around weather data in which weather station owners are rewarded with our token for the data contribution and uh, weather sensitive enterprises, customers, they purchase and spend our token in exchange for weather data and weather services. To support this economy, we had to create our own hardware. Uh, we have three different types of weather stations like this one. Uh, which are more efficient uh, and uh, they're energy autonomous and communication autonomous. They're 10 times more affordable and they provide cryptographic proofs. So our community benefits already from our mobile app, Android and iOS. And uh, we have shipped 2000 units. We're shipping 1000 more on Monday this, next week and we're scheduled uh, to produce more than 10,000 units, 11,000 by the end of the year. Um, for, for comparison, NOAA, the US Met Office, is operating 14,000 stations. So we're, we're getting there. Um, so the next steps in terms of development for our project is we are progressing the integration with IPFS, Filecoin Plus, computer data, we want to make sure that the data we collect from the stations have the maximum uh, quality. We are building a number of mechanisms to track the forecast accuracy. And later on, long-term goal is to act as a weather oracle on, on chain to enable new types of Web3 applications that need weather data. Okay, that's a bit broken, but the, so two years ago, we started experimenting with IPFS. And the vision back then and still today is that we want to build a weather uh, superstructure, a weather network that is a superstructure that is unstoppable. Uh, so we think that weather stations should be able to connect directly to IPFS nodes. Uh, so if we pull the plug from our servers, then the network won't have a problem. That's why we started working on a IPFS client for microcontrollers that are powering those stations. Obviously, those stations don't have Linux. They're way lower. So we did world's first uh, IPFS client for, um, for ESP32. So it's like an Arduino compatible. But then we ran into a problem, which is how to, authentic how to authenticate thousands of devices directly on IPFS. And we did a very you know, lame implementation of using basic HTTP uh, authentication. Um, so we have to hard code credentials in the devices themselves. Uh, since then, we've done a number of different things, but in, in my point of view, it would be cool if we could directly use the X509 certificate that we have in the hardware to authenticate directly to an IPFS node. And I think the closest that exists in towards this direction is Web3 Auth. Um, but it, it, I think what's missing is an Amazon a Cognito for Web3. So if anybody are working towards this direction, I'll be happy to talk about it. We're four people here from the team. Please find us and let's talk more. Thank you.